Olivia, Paula Gonzalez de Silva. She likes to be called Paula. That's the girl who had 36 points in the upset win over Bulgaria. And number 11, Marta de Sousa Sobral. The United States, Teresa Edwards, Cami Etheridge, Ann Donovan, Cheryl Miller, and Katrina McClain. The and Donovan controls the ball, but Brazil gets the first possession. Shot from the outside by De Lima. Cami Etheridge, four against three for the American team. That's Teresa Edwards. No basket. A quick three seconds. Yes, it was. And quickly back comes Brazil with the out without the officials handling the ball. They get it out very quickly, fortunately. The miss that time on the part of Vanya de Salza. Back come the Americans. And Donovan with a good move, but she loses the handle, and Cheryl Miller with a foul over the back. She went for the ball, and she fouled Hortensia. The thing that's difficult for Ann Donovan when she gets the ball down low, once she puts the ball on the ground because she's so tall, one of the smaller players will get the, get away from her, and that's exactly what happened. Well, we know that she doesn't have particularly strong hands. No. So she shouldn't move an absolute on the floor. And Edwards with the foul. Teresa Edwards reaching in as she tried to knock the ball away from Hortensia. Hortensia will definitely draw a lot of attention from the American defensive team as the girls on the bench look on. Yelling encouragement, Teresa Weatherspoon along with the rest of the ladies. From the outside, three-point shot. by Paula De Silva. She was six for six in the game yesterday. The Americans really look kind of disoriented right now in the beginning of this game. Cheryl Miller on the lob pass and the shot by Teresa Edwards and the foul. Close to the free throw line. Three to nothing. Now make it three to one in favor of the Brazilian team. And they were really astonishing on those three point tries yesterday. Uh, and I think they were gone up 11 for 13. We said six for six for Paula the Silva and three for three for Hortensia. The United States team didn't even try one. In the middle, that's Delima. Katrina McLean with the big rebound. She played very well until she hurt her leg. That's three seconds again on Katrina McLean, and so they're obviously not going to let the American girls camp in the middle. They really haven't had a chance to set their offense up and, and run it. We played a minute and 15 seconds. The United States has yet to get a field goal. Brazil has one three-pointer on the part of Paula da Silva. Hortensia, look at the creativity on her part. Sobral, battles on the floor with Miller will have a jump ball. Excuse me, after. <laughs> it's like uh, the little reconnaissance. Paula da Silva has all five points for the Brazilian team. She's picking up where she left off yesterday when she had 36 points against Bulgaria. Five to one in favor of Brazil. Cheryl Miller from 16. Cheryl who had 19 in the win over Yugoslavia. Back comes the Silva. Great pass inside. Can't be converted by Delima. The brawl control. And Teresa Edwards has a three on one for the United States. Cheryl Miller's open on the left. Good pass by Edwards. Four for Miller. It's tied at five. 17.50. Left to play, first half. That's the type of play I think that we need to get out of the Americans then. Well, defensively, they, they came back and recovered. Cammy Edwards was able to come up with that block which created that fast break. Well, that time it was the return of the favor that Cheryl Bella got from Teresa Edwards. As she gained a good pass to Teresa. She lays it in far, as we anticipated. 7-5 to five in favor of the American team. They trailed early, but they have fought back. Another three-point try. That one by Dedema. And the rebound by Donovan. Wide open, Miller on the left. Good lead pass from Candy Etheridge against Hortensia. Cheryl Miller will go to the free throw line. You can be effective without really being there again for a while. And again, the American team, not a particularly efficient group from the free throw line, Ann. Well, at SC, Miller shot close to 80% from the line. They've got about three or four players that have shot 70% in college, but you're right, Rick. Most of the players have shot 65% and lower. Bad pass by Hortensia. Good play by Etheridge. They call it traveling. She can't believe the call. Kayao looking on. And a foul is going to be called against Cammy Etheridge. She was trying to defend against Paula. She got a bump of the nose for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It happened. Terry <laughs> Tabers knocks it out of bounds. 
She opened up big place so you can see the, her, her person and the ball. Yes, woman ball relationship. <laughs> Hortensia drifting to the left. Tough to make that floating shot going to the left hand. Put off a little bit. Brazilian. Playing a man-to-man -to -man defense, but it looks like it's almost a collapsing man-to-man, -man, similar to the NBA-type defenses. Cheryl Miller from the baseline. Sabral with the rebound for Brazil. She had a very good game, bro. Uh, Cheryl Miller with the green field. had a good game yesterday. Nice play by Cheryl Miller. Like to have seen her take that one home, Bill, but of course uh, we don't see too many dumps in the international competition in women's basketball. And Teresa Everett with a good play against Hortensia. Use her body well and cut her off. She'll go to the free throw line. And that's two fouls on Hortensia. That's good. Uh, she's not known to be a great defensive player. If you get her in foul, a little foul trouble defensively, she may um, make a couple of offensive moves that's not too solid. It really is, but. You know, pointing out what Bill was saying about Hortensia, she's guarding Cheryl Miller, and it's interesting because Hortensia is not that great a defensive player. Now they push into the two-three zone. Smart move on the part of head coach Cordoza. Cheryl Miller baseline that would have counted had it gone. Seven of the ten American points, the other three. One of the things that Cheryl Miller does well, too, is when she gets the ball in shot selection, she will create the contact so she goes to the free throw line. There's other three points by Teresa Edwards. So only two American ladies on the scoreboard right now. That's the Rawls. Good. She is going to the International There's a pressure defense that the United States has been trying to for throughout their activities in international competition. They feel they have to play the pressure defense, get into a running game so they can use the athletic ability of these young women. To the back, to the and again, and Donovan comes over with the block. I love that. I love that. Right. What a beautiful yeah. play on the part of De Silva. The call and just kicked the ball and changed direction. It still will be Brazil's ball. And now they're going to have to start thinking when they go in the lane now. Brazil now real strong inside. Sabrell, the only tall player really that they have play. Once they get inside against the Americans, it's tough. Scored again by Paula De Silva. She had seven points. All of the scoring has been done by De Silva. Cheryl Miller tries to get inside. Donovan kept it alive. Taken away by DeLima and Hortensia. Hortensia weaves her way through the defense and the foul will be against Teresa Edwards her second. Even that kind of move to go up that strong has got to be painful. Paula De Silva, though, I tell you, with all the story, you get to the foul, man. It looks like he's done. Just blow it off. But again, speaking about the shooting of De Silva, Paula, she, uh, she has not missed a shot from the outside, and she has a good rotation on the ball. It seems like she's really playing with a great deal of confidence. Cammie Edwards defensively is a real intense player, hustles a lot, but I really think the most underrated player for the Americans is Teresa Edwards, and she's a super defensive player, and she's guarding Hortensia. Americans lead 12 to 8. We have just inside of 15 minutes left to play here in the first half. The second game for both of these ball clubs here the competition has been broken in. So play each team in the competition once, which will be a total of five games. Cheryl Miller with the move inside. She'll go to the free throw line. That will be the 16 foul now against the Brazilian team. Miller's really posting up every time she gets the ball. She tries to get it inside low enough where she can create a foul. Cheryl wondering why she didn't get to go to the free throw line, but you don't get the trips there all that often in international competition when you make a move to the basket. You gotta try and get that ball up quickly. Cheryl Miller just inside the three-point area, and Cheryl Miller pops in yet another one. That's 14 for the United States, eight for Brazil. Cheryl Miller with 11 of the 14 points, and Teresa Edwards with the other three, and still only two Americans on the scoreboard and only two Brazilians on the scoreboard, Hortensia and De Silva. So it's a four-woman game right now. Good play, Cammy Edwards gets it out to Teresa Edwards. She's going against the Lima, one against one. Beautiful play. And that will make the score 16 to 8 in favor of the United States. They double the output. We have 14 10 left to play. Back comes the Silva for Brazil. She has 9 points and 16 to 10. And this has been a racehorse ball game. 16 to 12 in favor of the United States. The United States jumped out. 
to a, a lead after, well, they trailed actually in the beginning of the game to Brazil, and then they overcame that deficit, and they've been leading ever since. seconds left here in the first half. 18 to 12 in favor of the United States. Only four women have scored in this game. Two for the United States and two for Brazil. That's one of them for Brazil who missed that shot. That was Paula da Silva. The rebound by Katrina McLean. It's been Edwards and Miller for the United States. 13 for Miller. Five for Teresa Edwards. That shot doesn't drop by Fran Harris, one of the first substitutes into the ball game. Katie Allen made an interesting substitute was taking Cheryl Miller out. Well, Fania de Salta. So the three Brazilians now on the scoreboard, and it's 18-14. Perhaps Cheryl was a little tired, and Katrina was not looking for the pass. Back comes to Silva. She was the cute pass, and her teammate, Deliva, didn't get there. Good play by Teresa Edwards. You mentioned her hustle. The man was tricked with the defensive play. Came back on the, on the defense. McLean off the miss by Etheridge. Top roll taken away by DeSalvo. To Deliva. Three-point try. Count it. And the Brazilians practice that three-pointer regularly. That's what their coach has to do to try and open things up inside. And it works quite effectively. 11 for 13 they were in the game yesterday against Bulgaria. They were ready to hit three of them in this game. Theresa Edwards from the baseline counters for two. She had seven. 20 to 17, United States leading. Priscilla, good move. Puck roll. That was the Lima. Harris. Out of the University of Texas, the team that won the NCAA undefeated this season. And Teresa Edwards again. Throw the basket, but I believe I'll call the charge. McLean has really not gotten into the flow of the offense whatsoever. Just now, at her height, is a very deceptive player. Some more substitutions since the occurred.